tally charts and pictograms. Grade F, G, GCSE, level 3, 4, National Curriculum. Okay, here we have a question where we've got a tally chart already drawn. Um, things we need to be aware about tally charts is every fifth line we draw a bar to, to group them together into five. So we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. The frequency is the word that we're supposed to use for the total. So, um, so the total for each row is the frequency. That's how often um, Annie sent a text message last week. So we've got to finish this off. So we've got 5, 10, 15 for Cassie and 5 plus 4, which is 9 for David. Okay, there's one mark for each of those. And then we've got to draw the pictogram. So the pictogram is a picture representation of these bars. Now you might be thinking 1, 2, 3, 4, um, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so that these don't just represent the bars here. We need to think about this number 24 and the fact there's six of those there. So we've got six times something and six times four is 24. So we know our key, which is worth one mark, is that one square equals four um, text messages. Oops, got messages. Okay, we don't really need to put that, you can just put square equals four. Um, you can clearly see here, this is how they want you to draw it out. So each little, each quarter of this is gonna be one person because Cassie was 15, so we've got 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15. So to draw 12, we only really need to draw 4, 8, 12. And then for David, we need to draw 9, so we go 4, 8, and then we need one little one. doesn't matter where you draw it, so long as it's a little one, to make 9. And there's um, one mark for that, one mark for that, one mark for that, so five marks in total, quite a lot of marks for something that's fairly straightforward so long as you know how it's done.